How did you not see this coming? My god, we came this close. The old man could have buried us all. Our families. Do you think you feel more betrayed than I do? Get some perspective, please. Janus is dead. Lucas Gray is about to join him. And a cornered animal is twice as dangerous. Let's be perfectly clear. We were not exposed. The threat is neutralized. We are back on track. Even so, from this point on, we expect you to take- No, there is no way I'm doing that. How can you question my loyalty? In case treachery is contagious. Do you really want to do this to me? Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever, Madam. Here's to loyalty. My man on the island confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at Sumner. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb. Only to find out he's a Providence operative. I'd been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Car bomb. Surrey, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think no one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. It's a dangerous thing, having a conscience. Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming. The Isle of Scale. Headquarters of the Ark Society. 
Founded by Janus in 1991, the Arp Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. Welcome back to Hitman 2. This is the Isle of Segale, and this is the last mission of the Hitman 2 campaign. Looks like we're infiltrating this castle to find the Washingtons. One more minute, please. Ah, one more, I see. Won't you join us, sir? We were just about to begin. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the annual gathering of the Ark Society. As Ark patrons, you are welcome to explore the castle grounds. However, certain areas are off limits, including the keep, which houses the members area, convention space, and council meeting. Should you wish to apply for ARC membership, please be aware that such cannot be bought, only earned. All set? Excellent. Follow me, please. So, what do you think? Well, you weren't kidding. This place is pretty epic. Where are we anyway? I'm not sure. Some old knightly stronghold. The architects use it all year round for ideation purposes, but tonight's the only time yeah, the man, rest of us get jacked. together. So, you decide on what to buy from the catalogue? One of the bunkers, for sure, and I'm curious about the cryo facility. I think you're gonna like it here, Logan. With a seven-digit tuition fee. I better. What else? Uh... Ah, yes. Zoe Washington, one of our newly appointed chairwomen, has prepared a brand new official ceremony scheduled to take place in the upper courtyard. A stirring ode to rebirth and the enduring spirit of mankind. I believe that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Please enjoy your evening. The bar is right up ahead. That's a pretty quick introductory tour. Well, that's good. We've, uh... Listened long enough. It's time to actually get take action. So this ceremony sounds like something to start with, and um, I'm looking forward to exploring more of this island. I have been here once before, before this video. It was an uh, elusive target that actually took place here. Wait, is that? It sure is. He never plays corporate events. Color me impressed. I told that. you guys, when I paid so let's get this spending spree started. But aside from that, this is all new. So step number one is running around to see if we can find our first mission opportunity or mission story. They changed the name between Hitman 1 and Hitman 2. What's with that weird bird effigy? It's the annual Phoenix ceremony. It symbolizes the collapse of civilization from which the Ark Society emerges unscathed triumphant. Ah, rebirth. I get it. What's new is that the Master of Ceremonies will light the effigy on fire with Zoe Washington inside it. Huh. A bit showy, wouldn't you say? Hey, whatever sells. Interesting. Zoe Washington is going to partake in a ceremony, symbolizing the downfall of civilization from which the Ark Society will emerge unscathed. Apparently, a giant, phoenix-shaped effigy is set on fire with Zoe inside it. Well, I suggest you locate this master of ceremonies who lights the Fire 47. If this doesn't sound like an accident waiting to happen, I don't know what does. It's fantastic how so often when we get to a mission, the targets are doing something crazy and risky and all we gotta do is tweak a little bit with the system and good times will happen. Well, good times for us. Not so much for them. Same kind of repels into an ancient temple full of death traps and poisonous snakes. Granted, 
but still. Seriously, what do you care? If some filthy rich broad wants to flirt with danger to feel alive, I say let her. They pay for our silence, not our concern. Yeah, I guess you're right. So the Washingtons have kind of a Lara Croft, Nathan Drake thing going on, something we'll see more of later. But first of all, we need to sort out this escape door hydraulics thing. Hello? You are on my list of contacts as a safety advisor. I would like to file a complaint about the locking mechanism for the trap door on the Phoenix Avenue. Yeah, this thing is basically a death trap in my opinion. Call me back when you get this message. As soon as she turns, we can tweak this, but yeah, well, we're gonna need a wrench. It's a bit tricky, we're still walking around here in the tuxedo, so there's a lot of guards and stuff that can see us. Ideally, get our hands on a different outfit. Maybe one of these two. She's like, how can you possibly make so much money in a legal way? I'm like... Well, honey, that's what I'm trying to say. I can't tell you about the job. They made me sign this thing. I mean, we have been over this a hundred times, and still. Yeah, my parents asked a lot of questions to begin with. You know, like, a lot of freaking questions. But then I got this huge outdoor jacuzzi for them, and they shut the fuck up. <laughs> Money solves all problems, right? I think we can ignore these two. On our hunt for a wrench, though. Thank God for the instinct mode. Although it should be too hard to take him out if need be. But, you know. It's more elegant not to take him out. Sometimes it's the easiest way of dealing with things, though. If I can recall, I think that's a secret door. Oh, I don't know if we can access it yet. Aha! Uh -huh. Wrench. Excellent. So with the wrench, we should be able to adjust the hydraulic door. And then we'll see if that's enough. Another call. Another call. away from the wicker man here. I know what you're gonna say. Stop being a busybody. But this is serious. Call me when you get there. You know, when Zoe Washington goes up in flames, she's gonna have the biggest case of I told you so to absolutely everyone involved. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Now, finding our way to the Master of Ceremonies can be a bit tricky. She's, she's on the upper floor in a room filled with a lot of dudes. One step is, we can't really walk around and just tuxedo anymore. So, uh, let's get ourselves a robe. There's two willing volunteers right here. Well, I say willing. Really, it's, uh, taking them kind of by force. Bunch will come in handy. And we're good to... Ah, uh, he should have dodged, because <laughs> cause I threw right as he dodged. It would have been kind of cool if he just, like, happened to crouch down just in time. I don't, There's no real way to dump them here. I'm, I'm a little bit worried if I place them there, people will see them. But there's no box to put them in. I can't really put them... Yeah, people will eventually see them, if anyone ever comes here. So... Uh, sorry guys. Well, um... There goes Silent Assassin. You can see the little uh, pistols next to them in the map became red instead of green. They, it even made a sound, so they're gonna go check, but um, they're gonna fall all the way down, so... The bodies won't be found. Poor dudes died though, but what are you gonna do? 
Anyway, this should mean we can walk a little bit more around. At least I hope so. Assuming these guards won't mind much. I am a member. I have I have my arc robe, after all, right? You know. No key though. Can I walk in here? You know I never quite know if this is gonna be a trespassing area or not. And it's a trespassing area, okay. Well, I'm gonna need to... Huh? Oh, he was already coming, okay. That's fine. Hey, uh, look at that coin. Strange noises here. Looking into it, over. You, sh you should go check the... Oh, this is the other guy. <laughs> the other guard is not coming to check the coin. Hey man, you should... That's some good stuff. Oh no. No wrench. Ah. Sorry, buddy. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound, right? And, uh, well... I know where to put the bodies now, at least. There's my wrench. I guess it doesn't matter that I shoot him. Because if even if I knocked him out, I probably would have... thrown him over here anyway, so... Bullet to the head is pretty peaceful, right? I, I hope. I don't really know. Hey man, I'm the same guy. I look exactly the same. I don't have a different height or anything. Effigy drawing the signs. There he is. Master of Ceremonies. He can see through my disguise, Seriously, though. I'll, I'll pay you. Me? You're in the Master of Ceremonies? I'm a multiple Tony award-winning playwright. And famously reclusive. It's part of my brand. I never got a little spot like this. Besides, I do chamber plays. The spectacle. What if people hate it? Shit, they hate it. They won't hate it, Mr. Feniger. It's just entertainment. Entertainment? Lord, what have I done? How did I let her talk me into this? Should I tell Miss Washington that you won't be going on stage? But everyone's waiting for you. God, no. No, she frightens me. Just, uh... Just, just give me a moment to control my nerves. All right, Mr. Penninger. Break a leg. I feel like if I had poison, maybe he would go drink the glass. But I don't really have... Anything to deal with these guards, so let's do this the old-fashioned way. Uh huh? Wrench to the rescue. Yes, you are the man. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's a bit too close. Means I'm compromised. I mean. I'm not going for Silent Assassin, but still, you know, I have standards. So I drop this guy here. This is the guy who has was my witness. Conscious witness. I don't like leaving witnesses. Ideally he wouldn't have seen me, but since he did. Sorry, buddy. Alright, let the Master of Ceremonies big big begin. That doesn't work. Let, let the ceremony big. Let's get that outfit. There we go. There's a lot of places to dump bodies here. You could drop six bodies here. That's a lot of random stuff. Put the MC here. The MOC, I guess. MOC? MC? Is it the same thing? MC is like, what, music creator? But MOC is Master of Ceremonies. Right. Laptop here. Well, that's just more info. They do a lot of that. They put information about things all over the place so that you find clues to different mission stories of how to do things. I have the key, so I can go in here. Whoa! That's a lot of people who are not happy to see me. I don't even think we need to go that way. Ah, Mr. Feniger. Excellent. Yes, that's me. I am Mr. Feniger. 
torch is ready by the money pit. <laughs> That's a sentence you don't hear often. The torch is ready by the money pit. All right. Let's get the show on the road. It's not on the road. Why do you say that? Oh, Let's get this show started. The MOC. Ah, MOC. Let's burn the money? A handsome pledge. And yet, a drop in the ocean. How are you? Oh, hello there, sir. Irresponsible person left a weapon lying around. Oh, that would be me. Wait, so the weapon would be up there, which means there's a guard that found the gun, which means he's not going to go leave the gun, which means he's not around for Zoe. Let's begin. Zoe Washington, the Ark Society recognizes you as our Founder's rightful successor, our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Excellent work, 47. Enjoy the spotlight. Patrons of the Ark Society, you are part of a select, chosen few. Our Founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. We must live, and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress, be it our next home in the stars or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose of the elite. Not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes, and all comes tumbling down, when mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition, we will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud. Be fearless. For the future is ours to shape. Well said, Miss Washington. I think they're waiting for me to do something. Looking just, sharp, sir. Just uh, bathing in the moment. Look at you, Feniger. All dressed to kill. Now let's do this thing. You have no idea. Light her up. I'll uh, light her up. Sure. Just taking a circle for security reasons. As the world burns, we rise from its ashes not just to survive but to live one target down Nice work, 47. Next up, Sophia Washington. 